Welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I wash and dry my t-shirts so they won't shrink or lose any quality. So I have quite a few shirts here. I have one, two, three, four, five gray t-shirts. Of course, I wear a lot of gray. Three black t-shirts. One, two, never mind, just two black t-shirts. I should have a white t-shirt, but I think I forgot it. I'm gonna be right back. And the white t-shirt. So for starters, one of the most important things to do is to of course sort them by color. I've already done that as I showed you. I have the grays, the blacks, and the white all separate. The most important thing to do is to check the care tag. In most cases, you're probably washing cold water. When you're washing t-shirts, especially colored t-shirts, any kind of heat will shrink that t-shirt. So we're gonna do a bit of a test. I'm gonna use the machine and also some hand washing methods to see which one works best. Before we get started, we're gonna measure the size of a couple t-shirts, a gray one and a black one, just to see if they're gonna be the same exact size before and after washing. Let's do it. Tell me how you both. Tell me, baby, is it cool to touch? Tell me, man, it's all right. Now that we're done with the measuring, let's let's get to washing. So I have two gray split tees from keeping New York everywhere. So I'm going to actually machine wash and then hand wash the other one. They're both the same measurements, both a size large. So we're going to see how these two hold up. So as you can see, there's nothing really special about this wash I'm using. It's by a brand called Hot Point. I have no clue what that is. <laughs> this was just actually inside my apartment when I moved in. So this is the best we got. We're using a small load. We're using whites, light, and we always want to wash cold, as I mentioned. One thing I will say about these low-end washing machines, even though you chose to wash in cold, in most cases, it's still gonna use hot for a majority of the washing. So that's just something to keep in mind. And I can't say that would be the case for all washing machines, but it definitely is for this one. Like I mentioned, I don't know much about the brand Hot Point, but I'm guessing it's pretty low budget. So let's look, review what I got. Load size, small. I have this on whites light, but let's actually go to delicates because we don't really want anything bad to happen to these clothes, of course. And for cold, let's use tap cold. We got the shirts in there. I'm gonna be using Tide Pods, just one of them. Just one. Drop that in there. Then we're gonna hit start. Now for the hand washing, I'm gonna be using Tide Simply Clean and Fresh. I'm gonna pour a little bit into the lid, just a little bit. Make sure we're running cold water. Alright, now that we have the sink moderately full with cold water, we're just gonna pour a little bit of this in there. Just a tad. You need to rub the the t-shirt against itself. I usually mainly focus on the pits because of course that's where perspiration happens. Pour a little bit of this into the pit area and then rub it in. And I do that for both underarms. Now we're just gonna let that soak for a little bit. Let me get a little more water in there. As I mentioned, cold water. Dry up the soap. As you can see, the water looks a little bit murky because of course this shirt was dirty. Now I'm gonna check on the other shirts. As I mentioned, this water is hot, but it's gonna do the same thing which allows for this to soak it. Now again, I would not recommend using hot water to do these. That of course is what this all is about. We're gonna test and see which method works best. Eventually. All right, so a couple hours have passed since this has been soaking. These items are completely done. They've actually sat in here a little bit longer than they should have. I had to tend to some other stuff. So I'm hoping these didn't shrink at all. It looks good. That one looks good. That one looks good. 
So what we're gonna do with these items is hang dry them. So I just took all of the gray shirts out of the washer and then hung them on this drying rack that I got from Amazon. This is a stainless steel drying rack. I'm not sure exactly how much I paid for it, but what I'll do is go ahead and drop a link down below so if you're wanting something like this, you can find it. Now we have to dry out this hand wash t-shirt. So it's kind of hard to get a good angle on it, but what I was doing, I would grab a piece, twist it, fold it, twist it, fold it, twist it. And that's usually enough to wring out enough of the water. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on the rack as well and then let it dry overnight. Sympathy for those afraid of mystery. Come get with me, I promise passing in ecstasy. I'm alone, can I come over there tonight? So now we're done washing all the gray t-shirts. We're gonna go ahead and tackle the black t-shirts. As I mentioned earlier, I have two black t-shirts. One of them is a Keeping New York Everywhere split tee. Another one is my champion logo black tee. I originally planned to hand wash one and machine wash the other, but it actually got really late. I got caught up doing something else and it's like almost 11 o'clock and I don't wanna be up all night doing this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss both of these in the washer. Before I do that, I'm gonna do the same exact thing I did with the gray tee and I'm gonna measure the Keeping New York Everywhere black tee. As you can see, keep in New York everywhere, size large. Let's turn it inside out. And let's take it to be measured before tossing it in the washer. Depend on me to one to handle it and get it right. Your body is banging, baby. I love the way you're flowing. It's time to give it to daddy. Sugar, now tell me how you want it. Yeah. Come on. Tell me how you want it. I know, two t-shirts and a washer by itself is just a waste of water, but it's kind of what I gotta do. Just like before, one pod, and we're gonna keep all the settings the same. Small, delicate, tap cold. So now that we got the black t-shirts inside the washer, I'm gonna go ahead and just hand wash this white t-shirt. This is the last one that has to be washed. This is a white t-shirt from Urban Outfitters. So let's do it. All right, so now we got the washer going and we got this white tea soaking. So now we're gonna wait for this cycle to be done and about that time, I'll go ahead and take the shirt out of the sink. All right, so now we're gonna hang dry these. Hang drying is the most essential part of this process. All right, so lastly, we're gonna tackle the white t-shirt in the sink. Now, I do have a setting that's gonna be a drain and spin setting on my washer. So for this one, I'm gonna utilize that. If you don't have a drain and spin setting, you wanna utilize the first method I showed you, which is the twist and ring. <laughs> So as you saw, I gave it a little bit of a twist in the sink. As you can see, it's still pretty wet. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this in the washer. So we're just gonna go ahead and toss that in there. We're gonna go ahead and twist this to the drain and spin, and then I'll see what happens. Here we go. So now it's gonna drain and spin itself and then we can hang that up. So it's been about maybe five minutes and I just heard the washer stop, which means this should be fully drained now. All right, so far so good. It's pretty drained and nice and damp and ready to be hung dry. The rack is pretty full. We've got one, two, three, four shirts here. The middle bar has another shirt, another shirt. Oh, boom, there we go. I'm gonna utilize this bar right here. All right, so all of the shirts are washed. They're all drying right behind me. I'm gonna get back at you guys tomorrow and then we're gonna check and see how they turned out. The next day. It is officially the next day and the t-shirts have been drying for precisely 21 hours, something like that. I just got off of work and it's about eight o'clock. And if you remember, I think I put them to dry maybe at like nine or 10. 
Yeah, it's about almost 24 hours. They are officially dry, so let's check them out and then we're gonna measure the same exact t-shirts again to see if they lost any size or quality. So let's do it. So this was the hand wash t-shirt, so we make sure we keep this separate. Just to remember that was hand washed. The rest of these gray shirts were machine washed, so I'm just gonna compare these two in size because I took measurements of these. So machine washed, hand washed, and then we're gonna compare size to the black tee as well. Was it this one? Yep, this one. Hand washed, cold water. So we're measuring from the top like before. So see there, all the way down, and it is at 30, just a tad bit under. So, hmm, I measured, these are my, I'm gonna laugh at my little notes here, but you can see the gray t-shirt we had at length 30. So let's see if the chest is still at 23 and a half. So we got the chest starting here. At 23 and a half. So I guess it's safe to say that we really didn't lose much size with hand washing. And again, this one was hand washed in cold water and then hung to dry. And now we're gonna test the other gray shirt that was machine wash and then hung dry. So the second one just measured out for 29 and a half in the chest. Both of these are the same exact size. It looks like we might've lost a half an inch in the length. And again, this was the one that we machine wash. So it's safe to say that the hot water that it did in the wash cycle may have shrunk us a little bit, but let's check the chest. So the chest is still 23 and a half inches. Now, to be fair, I only measured one of these great t-shirts because since they're the same size, I assumed that the dimensions would have been the same, but that's false. They probably weren't exactly the same, so I should have measured both. So if we were gonna lose size of the t-shirt, we would have lost size from both the chest and the length. So at this point, I don't think that the machine washing affected anything, but the true testament will be the black shirt because again, that went inside the machine and I did get measurements of that before going in. So let's check that. Twenty nine and a half. Black shirt measured out at twenty nine and a half. And it appears that the black shirt didn't lose any size at all, and that was in the machine wash, hung dry. So in conclusion. I would say that it doesn't really matter which method you use, whether it's gonna be hand washing or machine washes. Make sure you use cold water and use your delicate settings for your washing machine. If you have a washing machine that allows for you to control the temperature through the whole wash, make sure you use cold. But if it doesn't, as you've seen, mine didn't have those settings. And for the most part, I didn't lose any quality or size in my tees. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell. I upload fashion, style, and sneaker content. And if you wanna shoot me a follow on my social medias, you can find my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook links down below. Again, thanks for watching. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Freestyling with some wild kids from Bucktown. Profiling cause the hoop keep the staring. Checking where the niggas swearing. I'm wondering if that's ahead. I remember stick ball. Uncle Hoochie's on the wall. I'm taking leaps on the steps, thinking up the hall. To my childhood, wild as a juvenile. A young nigga trying to stay away from my gazelle. Me and my homies breaking nights, trying to keep it true. Out on the roof, sipping 90 proof, ain't nothing like the old school. What can I say? I wouldn't be here today if the old school didn't pay the way.